Hello and welcome to PLCCable.com. In this tutorial we're going to be using our Siemens MPI Profibus and PPI adapter. It's a USB to all three protocols. You can purchase the cable at PLCCable.com. Let's first start out opening a device manager. And we're using Windows 7 Professional along with TIA Portal Professional. And up just above Somatic Net, you'll see after we plug the cable in, it'll load the drivers. And it shows up Somatic Devices, Somatic PC Adapter USB. If you have an asterisk next to this, then you're going to have to reload part of your Profibus, the TIA portal software, just so the drivers are actually fully loaded. Let's start up. This We're using TIA portal 13, version 13 on ours. 14 is going to be really similar to this one. We have a couple projects already created, but we're just going to go ahead and open up an, a new project. Name the project. And we're just going to do it as a test. Uh, that way we can upload anything that's on the CPU and, and establish communication. After the project opens up, we can go down to Project View. And since we just want to establish communication and show you how to go online with it, we won't actually create a full project. We'll just um, go on to the Accessible Devices. Typically, we use the Ethernet, so ProfiNet, um, as our protocol for the Siemens. But we're going to go ahead and, and change that now. And for the settings in the ProfiNet, you can uh, click on that box on the right-hand side, and then these are all the different settings for ProfiNet. Right now, we're going to go ahead and, and select the drop-down, and we're going to hit ProfiBus. And it's going to automatically scan for active nodes that are on the Profibus network. This one is found, found Profibus, the address is 4 in this CPU. And then these are how to access the different configurations if, in, if you want to change anything. We just leave ours everything at default and it seems to work just fine. Um, of course you may have something else up there. And we don't, we use the we don't use the auto configuration, we use the just the manual. So click on Profibus if you want to use Profibus or click on MPI if you want to use MPI and leave the bottom one at PC adapter. So now you change that to MPI, we'll change the same DB9 and we'll plug it into the next port over because we're on a 315 DB2 processor so it has MPI and Profibus on the same processor and all you have to do is pull out the DB9 end of the cable and plug it into the other port and then change the PC from going from the Profibus change it over to the MPI and then you can access both COM ports on that so now since we click show that's the actual CPU that we're connecting to if we had something in there, we could open up the programming blocks, and but there's nothing on the CPU, and there's no program or anything. So, but that's it. If you have any questions, just contact us, PLCCable.com. Thank you, and have a nice day.